All right, what up guys? So welcome back. Today we're gonna to finally take a departure, like a step away from the water-based pomades we've been looking at, and finally looking at a nice greasy oil-based or like nice waxy oil-based pomade. And so we'll also be finishing off the bird line of products that we've been kind of like doing for the past week or so. And so that means we'll be looking at the Slick Bird, AKA their classic pomade. Um, this is like a oil base we looked at um, before. This is basically a re-review because we'll also be looking at the bigger jar since they finally, finally released like the bigger jar, which is now provides like a sustainable amount of product for us and actually is like much more uh, substantial than uh, the one ounce like tiny jars that they used to offer. So we'll be looking at that. This is a product that we like viewed before. I really like it. It's a nice waxy product, actually really versatile like nice clean ass scent and so we'll get into that during the review but of course we'll start off like always by looking at the pomade jar all right so this is it this is the slick bird aka the classic pomade so it has similar design style to the dirty bird and the free bird but pretty different from their old jar and this is their 2.5 ounce jar i believe and so this is much larger than the one ounce jar which you can see here that I put on the face. It's a lot more product. It's both wider and thicker. And so you know that this one will at least last you for a substantial amount of time. And this one works perfectly for the travel size. You have labeling and directions on the back as always. And opening it up, you have the same sort of product inside, very little changes, and thankfully there has been very little change because this is a great product to begin with. Also, labeling on the side is no longer taped on like the old jar. This is actually printed on, and everything is printed on minus the labeling on the back. And I believe the bird on the cap is actually printed on now, which is really nice. Overall, some of the best design we've seen here in the pomade market. So let's go use the product now. And opening up the jar, you can catch whiff of one of the best smelling pomades on the market. It's like a really nice, clean, and like refreshing cologne type of smell. So a departure from the cool water or like what we remember from like Palm's Not Dead. But if you imagine like pushing it more towards like, like a surfer culture, more like refreshing type of like smooth scent and rather kind of like lacking in that like that little hit from a cologne. So it pushes more like the smoothness. And basically scooping it out, you know right away it's like a nice waxy product. It strings out, it's reminiscent of like let's say Dax Green and Gold, but at the same time it's much smoother yet not like as greasy as like the Dax Green and Gold. It is like a waxier product. And at the same time that allows for a much more like versatility. Because with a waxy product you can now style or you can choose to style like a loose and free type of like pompadour or like a clean and slick one like you can go either way and because of the waxiness there's like a, not, a lot of friction which allows you to really melt down the product quickly when you're like agitating it in your palms and even if I, you have even if I don't have any product in my hair my hair is like not damp or anything it's still really easy to apply it's never been an issue at all with the bird products, uh, minus their matte pomade, which overall, like texture pomades, always have a little bit of difficulty to apply, or rather, are always a little challenging, given like the nature of the product. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to finally step back into an oil-based product. Both have their like advantages and stuff like that, and I consistently use water-based products actually for the most part. Um, except when I have the opportunity to use certain products like this or like um, just any sort of like nice kind of like dry waxy pomade um, mostly because they just feel cleaner and they um, are just more manageable but at the same time it's still difficult for me to use really waxy pomades because I mean the amount of hold is just overkill and then once it gets overkill it actually plays against me Yeah, at this also in addition to everything else, just like the performance, but like stepping back to like the bird name itself. I mean, this is like a California brand, and I don't know. This along with Admiral and a few other companies are like 
all California based and they have a consistent like vibe to them that makes it a lot more applicable to me per se I mean like the reason why we even bother looking at the design of the jar or like looking into the company is that like if it's made in California they understand like not only the weather the climate here but they also understand like the culture like the vibe that like we embody and stuff like that and so Thankfully, you don't see or you don't often see like super heavyweight like overkill products that are made in California. You get those from like Arizona or something or just like weird places. And so what you get from like a lot of California brands that are not um, super like in depth or like involved in like the rockabilly community, you get these like pretty um, alternative or like really unique products that offer like most importantly like a balance which as you already know like on this blog this is something like we always push for it's like always balance I mean when you buy a product it tells you like the whole shine or rather the hold and the shine and like that's all the information you get but there's a lot more things at play with a product all right yeah so I made sure to get little like scoops at a time making sure to apply just a little bit and that allows me to really spread everything or rather distribute everything evenly because the first time you apply an oil based pomade um, it's gonna like grip to the hair right away so you want to make sure that you work extra hard to like evenly distribute the product or else you're just gonna top coat it and that's gonna make it really difficult to style later on with everything applied go ahead and start slicking everything back now and as you expect out of like a medium weight pomade it's really easy to comb through, no issues at all. So you can really see how well everything slicks back. Everything's just going back, not much resistance, not much slop, and everything's nice and pretty slick right now. Um, go ahead and start forming the part now. And also, in terms of like the scent, I can like smell it all around me right now and thankfully it actually smells smells like real nice really clean and definitely like ever since i smelled it for the first time this has always been one of like my favorite smelling pomades or rather my favorite like fragrance for a pomade really just clean yet still pretty light and overall just good I'm going to use a brush to make sure my sides really sit down. But I do want the lines, so I will come in with a comb once again. So this is like a waxy medium weight pomade. It's not as waxy as like Grandad's Old Fashioned, for example. That's like a super waxy medium weight, but this one's like just enough so that everything is still really nice and slick. It doesn't really have that like matte look that the Grandad's does have. But at the same time, it's nice and slick and soft, which allows you to really just go in any direction that you want. If you want to style like a loose pompadour one day, then yes, you got this one. If you want to style a slick like pompadour another day, then you can also use this product. Overall, this is one of the most versatile like oil based products we have, or we've seen at least. And even like the pomade, the collab with um, Clayton and um, Edwin, it's a great product, but it was really meant for that slick, like clean pompadour. And so you can kind of see what I mean by like what I mean when I say it's like a versatile product. With my side slick back, Pretty nice and clean. Go ahead, start forming the pump. And go ahead, call that done. This should be good enough for the review. So the sides slick down actually really nice and well. As you guys remember from the early reviews, I've been having a hard time slicking down my sides because they're not exactly long enough 
Yeah, or rather as long as they used to be. They are long enough now, but just not as long as they used to be like two or three months ago. But now it's about getting at the length and also Bird just did a really good job slicking them down. Part is made nice, sharp and straight, really defined. And the pump itself has like a nice shape, good height and overall just like really nice. Um, there's a few stray hairs just due to the dryness of this product, the waxiness. And so it's not like a super greasy pomade. There's like a slight sheen to the product, but overall it's not that that shiny and like not like a super greasy product overall. Nice clean feel, beautiful scent, and overall like throughout the day if it gets messy I can just hand comb and it'll still look amazing. And so that's like the nice aspect of this pomade. Though you sacrifice a little bit in the slickness and a few other aspects, you get that versatility that's actually really valuable. And so we'll go throughout the whole day. I'll come back, talk more about the product, see how well it fared throughout the day. And then we'll go ahead and close out the review then. But yeah, see you guys in a few hours and I'll be back later. All right, what up guys? So it's 1 a.m. now. And so we got plenty of testing done with this product. And instead of trying to like restyle this um, product and like kind of reform that palm grower, I really wanted to showcase the versatility because I talked about it a lot. So I decided, hey, why not? Let's just hand comb it and style like a loose and nice like palm grower, pretty free form, still aesthetically pleasing and just overall like nice. Definitely would go out with it and actually pretty proud of it. Um, it stays like really nice and waxy. It stays malleable, which makes it easy to work with of course it's like really easy to restyle the endurance even if it is a waxy product this is still an oil based product product so it's like it's like bouncy it has like a life to it and also it's like not gonna lock in your hair so endurance it's not a heavy product so you will start kind of losing your pompadour after like a few hours but that's not like a bad thing it has its own life it takes on a more natural form a natural state you're not gonna get this like stiff cone head type of deal. You're gonna get like a nice loose pompadour that just has like a life to it. Restyleability, as I just mentioned, really easy. It's really malleable. If I did want to restyle like a nice clean pompadour, I can do that with a comb really easily. Not hard at all. Um, also, um, the wax, unlike other products, the wax doesn't settle as much. I know a few other um, waxy oil based pomades, the wax does like kind of like settle in, giving you like a semi or pseudo, like a quasi lock in but not with this product. Also, the rinseability, it'll take you probably like two to three days, pretty standard for all based product to really remove it from your hair. But at the same time, the quality of the buildup is like top notch, better than like Iron Society by a long shot. This is like a nice waxy product that isn't too heavy. And so when you really wash it out, you're really left with a nice clean, like waxy residue that just provides you with some nice strength. Or if you have enough in, you can just style like a loose, like, um, type of pompadour like um, side part comb over like for the next day definitely a super versatile product and like if we would go to the cliche or like kind of like the stereotypical like I'm um, setting for this pomade like a beach type of setting like this is the optimal like wax or oil based pomade for the beach setting just the feel of it the cleansiness of it and just the overall like versatility of this product and so like it's a good, it's an amazing oil-based product. It's definitely one of the top like medium weight uh, oil-based pomades that I would use. But at the same time, amongst the Bird um, line, I actually prefer Bird Light more than anything else. I just believe that product is just top-notch, water-based, doesn't dry. And like though it is a lightweight pomade, it has as much hold as like the medium weight because it is a water-based, so it's like a really like high strength to weight ratio whereas like the classic pomade gives you like a nice dense but just like stable and like average hold like a predictable amount of hold but yeah so either way if you were looking at for like medium weight like oil based product this definitely is one of the top choices you'll pay out your ass for it of course but still you can get Murray's for three bucks like you understand what you get you get what you pay for but either way this has been a review for Bird, the Slick Bird, aka Bird Classic Pomade. Hope you guys got something out of the review. Um, next week we'll be looking at some more of uh, Rustin's new products and we'll go from there.